Hello everyone and welcome to Mojo for Industry Presents Development Debate on Digital Substation Opportunities and Challenges Technology Partner Omicron. Digital substations in India are poised to play a significant role in achieving the country's energy goals and modernizing the power infrastructure. As the adoption of digital substations continues to grow, it is expected to bring substantial benefits to India's power sector. On this note, today we are joined by India's top subject matter experts to discuss on the opportunities and challenges for digital substitution. So let's welcome Mr. Anand Sankar, who is the Chief General Manager for Information Security at, at Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. Then we have Mr. Anil Kumar Kadam, who is the Director for Ecostructure and Cyber Security at Snyder Electric. And he is also the Chair for Smart Grid Division at uh, Indian Electrical and Electronics Manufacturer Association, that is EMA. Then uh, we have Mr. Jobin TP, who is the Lead Technical Application Engineer for Grid Automation India at GE Vernova. Mr. Manish Kumar Singh, who is the Application Specialist for Power Utility Communication at Omicron. So, panelists, can you share your opening comments on the concept of digital substation? So, for almost uh, more than a decade now, uh, things have started uh, in terms of digitalization of various activities within the substation. A lot of the connected electricity uh, network uh, which we are able to visualize and take the planning uh, action uh, according to uh, uh, our mutual convenience. Now, this is significantly more important because of increased number of players in the industry. So, right. it requires a very important collaborative uh, network. I think that's what the cornerstone is for a digital substation. Uh, so, that is where uh, uh, I think the collaborative uh, world in uh, the world is a village. All substations, all power grid also has come very close knit uh, accordingly. Uh, Mr. Anil, sir, uh, what's your thoughts on the concept of digital substation? Now, digital substation is a different thought process altogether. How do you bring end to end digital within the substation, be it the switch yard or the control room? Also, take advantage of the digitalization which is happening by and large beyond the power sector. So this is predominantly driven by, of course, uh, digitalized, digitization technologies, which is becoming very much proliferated. But also very important is the need for sustainability, <clears throat> you know, uh, need for doing more with less, need for more efficiency. Uh, if you look at a substation of 20 years back and if you look at a substation of the next 5 to 10 years back, there will be uh, there will be huge difference. Uh, Javin, uh, how do you look at the concept of uh, digital substation? So initially, uh, there were only a part of digitalization where people used to do a con converting of analog to digital kind of a concept. Whereas now the concept is changed to like a unmanned substations like of uh, scenario, where uh, people want to do a complete uh, monitoring of their asset and uh, remote monitoring of system, and which will uh, which is having a uh, key concept for the digitalization. So it is enhancing the safety of the individual as well as the equipments. And also additionally, we uh, uh, we have uh, now the IEC uh, standards for cybersecurity, which will again enhance the security of your uh, um, assets. Oh, so uh, Mr. Manish, what's your opening remarks on the concept of digital substation? Uh, for me, the opening remark is the future it belongs to the digital world, right? So every single industry moved to the digital thing. We as a power industry also moved to that digital area. So uh, whereas the conventional substation, everything as Jovin and other, other panelists also said the same that uh, we all are moving to the digital world where earlier things were connected with the all hardware connection, copper wire connection with from the relay to the breaker to the everywhere, right? So now we move to the single ethernet cable, everything published on the network. So yeah, I could say the, the concept is very much uh, futuristic. People started implementing it and in future, definitely all the substation will move to that area digital substation. Mr. Anand, sir, sir, you represent power grid. So how do you see the opportunities for digital substation? Now, as I said, no, we have already completed one generation of digital substation. So we, we, we are, uh, as we uh, move to the next generation, uh, we are evolving with the technology and uh, 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 there's no going back in terms of uh, uh, saying a digital station uh, uh, backwards. So, it, so we, we are actually uh, going up in the maturity cycle. 
Manish, do you have anything extra or uh, any additional things to mention uh, when it comes to opportunities for digital substation? We also are uh, continuously developing our products, uh, which suit which is suitable for testing in digital digital world, right? So, I can assure you, Omicron is already having lots of portfolio uh, products where uh, it is suitable for digital substation. For example, any communication testing in the digital substation, or the sample values, or the goose testing. Uh, you wanted to do it. Omicron does does have the solutions for that. So, those are the opportunity for us. And uh, yeah, challenges uh, in general, if you say. Uh, in, in the respect of power system is that it's such a new technology, right? So not everyone is aware about the digital substation, about the IC61850 completely in, in complete uh, scenario because it's a new technology. People haven't learned about it more. And uh, we, we as an electrical engineering power system, we need to uh, gain the knowledge about digital substation and also train the train our engineers to work on the digital substation right so that is one challenge i could say we bringing ot and it guy together it is a big challenge and uh, um, uh, yeah understanding about the ic61850 because earlier it was all hardwired every single coming so coming to your id or to your, to your system it is very much visible to you but nowadays it is all on ethernet so you need to have a depth knowledge of ic61850 standard then only you can understand the distro subscription right. so uh Javin, while talking about the opportunities manis has also you know pointed out some of the challenges as well so would you like to talk about the opportunities as, as well as challenges now we have a lot of opportunities coming up uh, uh, especially from the renewable sectors and solar and uh, sectors for the digitalization and also the uh, transmission segments uh, as i already told people are moving towards uh, unmanned substations and all there are several opportunities i am concerned there are a lot of opportunity for a person to learn new technology as far as uh, for the protection as well as communication now uh, uh, as we know there are a lot of projects but all our majority are in the pilot uh, forms. It is not commercially a uh, come up. Uh, so we are lagging for making all those uh, commercial parts. Basically, the digital SAS, SCADA, and uh, SAS or conventional SAS. People used to do a one to one comparison with the cost. So, certainly, our digital, digital solution will be more cost compared to the conventional SAS. But uh, once you see uh, overall cost, like operational cost, like uh, troubleshooting, fault, uh, seeing the replacing the spare parts or uh, maintaining the architecture uh, drawings the com compatibility size of size reduction if you see all those things together then uh, surely this is comparable with your uh, conventional sas so uh, before summing it off uh, can i ask all the panelists to share your 30 seconds uh, concluding remarks on today's topic of the discussion digital substation opportunities and challenges no doubt digital substation is a need than uh, a want uh, some time back it was a want now it's a need to manage dynamicity and uh, we have to be more and more efficient in whatever we do and substations are our nerve centers it's very, very important with this. We start adapting, we start experimenting. Uh, of course, we are in the early stages of the technology adoption in India, but it has to be followed uh, much faster. And we'll have to look up to power grid who have already uh, forefronted in this particular technology in many of the substations. Yeah, as, as rightly said by Neil sir, is that it's a, it's a, it's a need now for the for the in power industry to move to the digital substation. And definitely uh, as in uh, uh, the opportunities and challenges what we have discussed and you uh, so so Vijit, you rightly said is that wherever there is a, a challenge there is opportunity right so uh, we all are learning from the, the 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 things which is implemented in the system right now and we all are improving from that so as far as from omicron side i could say we uh, we have learned lots of things and definitely we have the solutions for the testing and digital substation more or less complete solutions and we are also evolving day by day by taking the feedback from the challenges we are facing when there is a substation so concluding i could say yeah future is there and future will be brighter for the substation it's certainly it's an evolving technology there are a lot of opportunities in renewable as well as uh, uh, transmission segments but the thing is um, uh, as as there is an opportunity there are a lot of challenges like how to adapt the new new technologies and how to uh, get the competency for doing those technology as doing the testing all these things 
whereas we have a lot of uh, advantages like uh, testing tools are available like omicron and other th- other vendors having lot of uh, testing tools and the testing and maintenance time can be drastically reduced convention- compared to the conventional system oh uh, that's a great one uh, because uh, digital subscriptions are there everywhere uh, we will definitely see more of process bus subscriptions org definitely has taken a lead in implementing for process bus subscription and uh, that's a new uh, evolution uh, which we will see more uh, in the coming days Uh, the challenges definitely cyber security skill set uh, uh, blended ot and it uh, both sides uh, that is something which we are looking forward to so with that we conclude today's session on digital substitution opportunities and challenges technology partner omicron for more updates please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon